everyone welcome to excel problem solving series into this particular video solving a very interesting problem so you can expect such kind of different questions into the real interviews and uh, let's see what is the problem it is saying so the problem says find total amount spent by all the builders mentioned using the table given beside to it provided exclude sundays and saturdays with the help of formulas so friends you can see the data set into the very first column i have the date into the second column i have the builder name into the column c i have the units into the column d i have the amount and here into this particular range corresponding to all these builders name i want to get the total amount which has been spent by them or all the builders excluding the amounts for the saturdays and the sundays so friends somehow if i would get the amount for saturdays and sundays i would just subtract the amount from the total amount spent by all these builders and then i'll get the answer the ways to solve this particular problem can be so i would just get the total amount spent by all the builders and i would subtract this by total amount spent on saturdays and i would subtract this similarly from total amount spent on sundays from this particular formula i'll be getting the total amount or the relevant answer which the problem is asking so friends let us start with solving this particular problem so i'll be getting the sum of the total amount which has been spent by the particular person all these builders name i'll be getting first of all so the total amount i just want okay this should be sum if because a condition which we are proposing here so which is the builder name and the criteria is the builder name and the sum range on which i need to provide the sum i would just select the amount column so this is the range which we require i would just simply fix all these ranges to get my answer so this is the total amount which has been spent by Doug. similarly i would expand this formula to the last for example gill has spent 762 jones has spent 973 now from this particular amount somehow if i can get the total amount which has been spent on saturdays and the amount which has been spent on sundays i can get the answer and i would just subtract the total of this amount from the total amount which has been spent so friends for that i would just get an additional column here and i would rename this column as weekday and i would just get which is the week of the day for these particular dates so for that i'll be using this function which is text i would provide the date value here and into what format do i want so i just want to get the week of the day so i would just provide this so you can see i'm getting a sunday so this particular date it was a sunday so i would just drag this formula to the very last for each of the dates you can see I'm getting the week of the day for each of the dates now I will be using the sum if function again or sum if s function again to get the desired answer because there are two conditions now which are coming one of the condition is for the builder name and the other condition is for the weekday so first of all let us calculate for the Saturday and later on we'll be calculating for Sunday first of all I would provide the range of the amount then i would need to provide the criteria the very first criteria range so the name column is my first criteria range what is the criteria the criteria is the name similarly the second criteria range this should be saturday so we are calculating the amount which has been spent on to the saturdays and i'll just provide or get a saturday value from here this is my criteria range too i would need to fix all of these ranges here so that when i drag this particular formula the range value does not changes so h6 is a variable 
similarly p3 to p31 the weekday and b4 is saturday so we are calculating the value for just for saturdays so b4 is also a constant i would hit enter so you can see for example dog here spent 639 amount on to the saturdays for each of the values for each of the builders i am getting the amount similarly i would do for a sunday so this was for saturday this is for sunday i would just copy this formula here and i would just paste this so instead of b4 you can see b4 is a saturday i would provide a b3 so that i am getting a sunday and i would hit enter so you can see on sunday dog has spent 389 amount i would expand this formula to the last let us cross verify for one of the person or the builder we are getting the correct answer or not so let us do for morgan and jones and if we are getting the correct answer for saturday or sundays or not so for morgan saturday and sunday so i would just filter out the builder name from here so the builder name is morgan so you can see saturday and sunday no amount is present so that is why we are getting the correct answer similarly let us filter out the data just for let's say jones here you can see if saturday and sunday no data is present so friends we are getting the correct answer let us simply get the total amount so it is very much simple from this amount i'll subtract this amount and for sunday as well and this is my final answer which i require i would drag this formula to the last so friends here you can see we have got the our desired answer this is how we can solve such kind of different problems so before proceeding we just need to formulate a certain logic and then it is very much easy for us using the different formulas which are available we can solve all such different kind of problems friends i hope you had found this video very much informational and useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information meet in the next video thank you so much bye